Okay, hi everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, teach you how to put some um, uh, SBT uh, black tip um, uh, new floor mats on your jet ski, okay? So I just got done building this jet ski, new motor, new pump, new decals. Obviously I need to put new foot wells in. So I have these, okay, should be good. So you'll, my old ones I already took off. Those are over here. I'm not gonna demonstrate that, it's pretty easy. You just drill them out, good to go. But what you do need to do is you need to fill all these little holes in here. One, two, should be a third one right here. You need to fill these little holes with some epoxy. So I got online, purchased some of this stuff. It's a five minute epoxy, part A, part B, you mix them out evenly. And then I like using this pad because after it's mixed, I can just throw it out, okay? So it's about 85 degrees out here right now, so it's quite warm. So this uh, epoxy is quite viscous and, and uh, flows really easily. Uh, in colder weather, like 50 degree, it's, uh, you, you gotta kinda mix it quite a bit. It's quite a bit more, more thick. So you gotta make sure you thoroughly mix this. Um, a lot of people don't spend enough time mixing this. And what is up happening is that uh, it doesn't seal, it, it just stays cold um, or stays gooey. So you have to make sure you don't do that, okay? Spend some time, mix this up. I usually spend about a minute and a half mixing. I'm gonna go a little bit less this time because I'm on video, and I know you guys don't wanna see me mix poxy. That's kinda dumb. So let me pause it while I finish. Okay, it's all mixed up. It's been about a minute and a half. Let's go ahead and come seal these now. I'm just gonna take a little bit of a dab here. There you go, you can see what I'm doing. Mix a little bit in here. Good. Now the next one, good. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to wait for this to start getting a little, um, uh, what do you call it, sticky. And then I will come over and scrape it off so I don't have to sand it. So it's very important to get this flat, otherwise this stuff will not stick. I'm sorry, if it's not flat, um, this pad won't stick quite right because it will have a little lips inside of there so I don't want that. So I need to make sure that I scrape it when it's still sticky. Alrighty. So I gotta do the back. Good. Alright, so I'm gonna keep going and do all this. I'm gonna pause it while I finish up. Okay, I finished getting them all on. All of them are sealed now. Yeah, there it is. You can kind of see it. So it's sealed. So now I have to wait for this to get sticky. So now I'm not gonna touch that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna keep worrying about this. And when this stuff starts to dry, first things first, it's slippery. Then after a while, it starts getting stringy. Then after that, then it starts going to the place to where you can touch it and you can still imprint your fingerprint, but nothing will come off on your finger. Then after that, then you touch it, nothing happens, and then the last stage is you put your fingernail in it, and you still dent it, but it's still like getting hard, like the bottom rubber of your shoe. At that point, I'm gonna take my knife, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna slice it. So that's what I gotta wait for. So that's gonna take in, uh, I think it's like 85 degrees today here. So it's probably gonna take about, oh, maybe eight or nine minutes to get to that level, maybe five minutes. Depends on your humidity and several other things. So just keep an eye on it, um, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, I'll unpause it when I'm ready for that. Okay, I'm getting close. I don't know if you can see, but it's starting to change like a yellowish color. So then I touch it over here. Can you see that? Uh, camera doesn't really do it justice. Let's see if I can get it to focus a little better. But you see how it's like starting to stick a little? This is the stringy edge. See, it's stringy. That's not enough yet. I gotta wait for the next two stages. Okay, so it's getting pretty close now. I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting on it now because I've got a lot of them to do. So I'm gonna have to start a little prematurely. So, uh, that's still not quite enough. It's still kind of slippery. I don't know if you can see, but it's still like puddling up on my knife. So I'm gonna have to wait another minute. It's always calm, or it's always normal that it will harden on your board first because it's a thicker pile. 
Okay, we're ready. Let's see here. Yep, that's good. Okay, so that's flat. Most of this, because it's so hot today, most of it actually slid down inside the hole. So it's already pretty flat. I just painted this thing a week ago, so I really don't want to scratch this paint. So, there you go. That's pretty good. Where's my other one? There it is. Right. Okay. So you get the idea. I'm going to finish scratching all the rest of them, and I'll be back with you. Okay, so I got it all down. Everything's all sealed. <clears throat> it's been playing enough time to dry. I already installed this one. And I'll show you how to install these. I've installed lots of different uh, decals and stickers and stuff like that in my career. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that the fit is good. And I've already wiped and cleaned everything. Your jet ski should make sure that you use some like paint thinner or something like that to uh, wipe it down quickly. You don't want to scrub, but do something like that, a grease wax remover, some industrial cleaner to really strip this. This has just been freshly painted here a couple of days ago, so I'm still perfectly clean. I don't have any problems, I have no oils. So make sure your prep work is done. <clears throat> so then what you want to do is you want to peel the back of this thing off. I usually go at a little bit of an angle like this. Give it a little crease. <clears throat> make sure it's folded back. Now I'm going to put it in here and make sure it's in my pocket right where I want it. Okay? After it's perfectly straight and it's right where I want the darn thing, then what I'll do is I will start sticking it down here. Okay? Then I'll start working the way up and I just push the air bubble out. Okay? Now after I get to the place where the paper is, see it still lifts up nice and easy. But now it's not going to rotate right to left at all. See, it kind of stays where it's at. So now you can start pulling this thing off and work the air bubble out. Okay? And there you go. That one's installed. I'll show you the lot, this one over here as well. <coughs> yep. So it's nice, that fits nice and tight in there. So we'll go ahead and uh, stick that one. No dust or anything in it. Yep, looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and install this one now. Let's go from this side. And it messed up on the cutting here a little bit. There's no stick underneath that. I wonder if I should report that to them. Hmm. Well, I'll show you here. There's no sticky on this part over here. So I'm afraid it's not going to lie down flat. Well, let me take a picture of it so I can send it to them. Maybe they can give me a new one. Well, I'm going to put it on for now. If they give me a new one, then I'll go ahead and uh, um, do that. Yeah, here, I'll do this. There we go, that's a good picture. All right. So I am worried about this because it could get a place for water to get underneath and seep in, especially like when I'm washing it. So I'm a little worried about that. I might contact the manufacturer, see if they'll send me out a new one because of that. So, okay. So, <clears throat> get that aligned up where I like it. Okay. Hold it in place. And again, work it. All right, that looks pretty good. I like that little black tip there, that fits in good, so we're gonna go ahead and use that. Feel that. Well, anyways, you don't have to sit here and watch me do the whole set. Basically, you just repeat. Um, now, as far as these over here, uh, these don't have the insets, so what you'll have to do is you'll have to figure out exactly where you want them. And what I like to do with these, so that way they don't slide. You can do this with like decals and all kinds of other things too. You can put it down like this with just a little piece of tape. Put it where you want it. And you can start this side and you'll pull the paper off at an angle of a 45 out this way. Then once you get to here, you can take it off. But you don't want all these sliding around on you. You want them properly positioned where you want to go. So I'm gonna use tape. So anyways, that's the basic idea on how it works. Um, hope that video is helpful. Take care.